This screencast covers the materials of Module 3, Lesson 8, where we're going to add and subtract fractions from whole numbers, and we're going to use a number line to help us do these. It's based on the problem set. All right, let's look at the first one. We have a number line pre-made for us here, and we need to set it up. So I'm going to start with my whole numbers. I'm going to start with a 0, and we'll have a 1. And we'll go uh, 2, we're going to have to go above that, 3, and we'll go all the way up to 4. Because I know that 2 plus 1 is 3, and I have a, 1 is a little bit bigger than, 1 and 1 fifth is a little bigger than 1. So we need to go up to some value over 3. So how are we going to do this? Well, it's very simple. We're going to first add the whole numbers. And that's apparent here because that's the order in which things occur. But we're going to do that even when we see other problems where it's not necessarily in that order. So we're going to start with 2. So we're going to go from 1 to 2, or 0 to 2 rather. I'll put a plus 2 here. And then we're going to go up one more, plus 1. Now we're going to go up one fifth. Now, uh, in many of the examples, they don't go through making all these marks in between. Now, I'll do it this time. One, two, three, four, right? Because that divides uh, the interval between three and four into five equal parts. If we look at the hops, one, two, three, four, five, or I can count the intervals. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we're going to add one-fifth to that. And we'll say plus one-fifth. So what do we have? Our answer is, if we look at the whole number, is 3. And then we go up 1 fifth, so the answer is 3 and 1 fifth. Let's do another example. Okay, in this case, we have two mixed numbers. Uh, we're going to create our number line. And we're going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and we'll do examples where we don't even do that much. We'll go up to 9. Uh, we could uh, skip some of these values if we needed to, as long as we label our number line. So let's go on. We're going to first add my whole numbers. So even though I have 5 and 2 fifths plus 2 and 3 fifths, I'm just going to add my 5 plus my 2. Now I will make these little marks in between here, one, two, three, four, and we'll go up now by adding the fractions. So I have two-fifths, and I have three-fifths. Let's label these, five plus two plus two-fifths plus three-fifths, and our answer is eight. I'm uh, going to do another example, uh, just another application of this. We're going to do some erasing here. And I can show you another acceptable way to do this. As long as we label our hops. So I'm going to start with zero. I'm going to go up 5. I'll label that plus 5, and then we'll label this 5. Then we're going to go and do another add 2, and we'll label this 7. And then I can just do 1, 2, okay, that's plus 2 fifths. 1, 2, 3, plus 3 fifths, and we get to 8. It's acceptable to do that. These don't have to be strictly to scale. We'll do a few more examples for you. Okay, now we have 9 and 3 fourths plus 8. And I'm going to kind of use a shorthand here like I did in the previous example. I'm going to start with 0. I'm going to hop plus 9 to 9. And I'm going to go plus 8. And that will be 17. Now I'm going to hop up my three quarters. I'm just going to, again, uh, make my 18 here. And we can one, two, three. And if we can go up three fourths plus three fourths, and we see that our value is 17. 
and three fourths. It's fine to uh, leave some of the intervals out as long as you label what I call our hops here, or our, our leaps through the number line. Okay, let's do some more. Now we have subtraction. So I'm going to start with zero, and I'm going to have a one, and we'll have a two. So as we did on the previous ones, we're going to start with the whole number. So here I start with two. I'm not starting at the zero. I am now going to subtract my one, my whole number portion. And I can label these if I like. Seven, okay, and I can go three-eighths. I'm now subtracting three-eighths. So in essence, what I'm doing is subtracting two minus one minus three-eighths, right? And we know that two minus one is one, and now we're subtracting our three-eighths. Where am I on the number line? Well, one, two, three, four, five-eighths. My answer is five-eighths, and we'll label that on our number line as well. Continuing. We have 17 minus 15 and two-thirds. I'll start with my 17, and then I'm going to subtract my 15. And that brings me to 2. And I know that below 2, the next whole value is 1. And we can see with our fraction here that it's thirds, so I'm going to make those small intervals there. So what am I doing here? Well, again, I'm kind of decomposing. I've got 17 minus 15. I've done that so far. Now I'm going to subtract 2 thirds. So we're going to go minus 2 thirds. And where's my answer? Well, I know that my answer is someplace between 1 and 2. So we'll simplify. This becomes 2 minus 2 thirds. And 2 minus 2 thirds is 1 and 1 third. It's always good to put that next value down. So when we got to the 2, we know that the next value down is the 1. And that helps us figure out what the mixed number is. It's a fairly important step. Okay, here's another one. We're going to start at 100. And we're going to subtract 20. We get to 80. Now what's 1 down from 80? It's 70, 90. Notice that this is not the scale. So let's do the decomposition here. I have 100 minus 20 minus 7 eighths equals 80 minus 20. 7 eighths. Let's make our little marks in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to go down 7 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. I could have just done that in one hop as well. Minus 7 eighths. Both are acceptable. And if I look there, I see that my whole number is 79. We know that this number here on the spot, on the number line, is between 79 and 80. We'll go with the lower value, 79, and then we go up to 79 and 1 eighth. Let's do a word problem. It says Calvin had 30 minutes in timeout. For the first 23 and 1 half minutes, Calvin spot, counted spots on the ceiling. For the rest of the time, he made faces at a stuffed tiger. How long did Calvin make faces at a stuffed tiger? Well, I'm going to set up a, 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 a tape diagram. We know that the whole this timeout is 30 minutes. Let's erase that. We know that for 23 and one half minutes. He's counting spots. In the remaining time, he's making faces. Question mark there. Okay, we should know by now that when we see a tape diagram that looks like that, where we need 
we know the whole and we know one part, we have to find the other part we're subtracting. So let's set this up as a subtraction problem. So I have 30 minus 23 and 1 half. All right, let's work on that number line. So I'm going to start with my 30. I'm going to subtract my 23. 30 minus 23 is 7. Now what's 1 down from 7? It would be 6. So what we have so far is 30 minus 23 minus 1 half equals 7 minus 1 half. And we see that that is between 6 and 7. Since my fraction is a half, I'll put my interval right here. Now I'm going to subtract 1 half. Our value is right here. And if we look at the number line, we see that that is 6 and 1 half. So the answer is 6 and 1 half.